Alright, here we go. Let's run also inside his shield so we do double damage once he deploys. Uh, once he opens the shield. Oh my god, I'm just rushing through, killing everything from behind, man. <laughs> What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to one of the most amazing Scorpion setups ever. You've seen it in the intro, how you can come in from behind and obliterate entire teams, dude. The new flamethrower buff is out with the recent updates. They are good again. They're really good again. And with overdrive on the Scorpion, this is an absolute dream setup. I'm not even joking. What I'm giving you in this video is the compilation out of one of the our recent live streams where I tested these new flamethrowers and I'm just giving you the best moments cut together so you may have already seen some of that if you have seen the whole live stream uh, but if not then there's gonna be a lot of really amazing stuff for you so enjoy that that was the second time you took me down man uh, let's just show him something this guy too then this guy and then maybe him a little bit here and then teleport back in the last second and get the fourth kill. I just grabbed four kills in one run, man. Four kills in one, one run. That was absolutely insane. <laughs> I just obliterated them. The shock train specter, it did not work at all. Oh, I know who am I gonna kill now. If I can reach him, that is. Actually, I can reach him. All I need to do is jump on the Fenrir instead. So here we go. We're on him now. He's suppressed and I'm teleporting back. And again, I did a lot of damage and I suffered very little in return. Um, that is how this thing is played. That's... Oh, that's not the Fenrir. I thought the Fenrir was going to come around the corner. Alright, I got him. Let's make him use his ability. Nice, he did. He did use his ability now. I'm gonna capture- I'm gonna kill. First. This guy now. Oh wow, wait a minute, am I not in stealth? Okay, you know what? Too many enemies. Too many. That was not good. Okay, let's retreat. That was too many enemies right there. Yep, he had no chance at that 350 meter range. Okay, a Titan is being attacked. There is the Fenrir. Let's go for him. Alright, here we go. Let's run also inside his shield so we do double damage once he deploys. Uh, once he opens the shield. Oh my god, I'm just rushing through, killing everything from behind, man. <laughs> the falcon and the, the scorpion is so sick. It is so sick. I could just come in from behind all day long and just take him down like a boss, dude. Is that a scorpion? No, it can't be. Alright, let's go for uh, the, fel uh, the Fenrir. It's another Fenrir. Inside the shield, he's locked. He cannot use his shield because I am inside of it. And even a Fenrir. With these many flamethrowers, you even get the Fenrir killed really quickly. Holy sweet. This is... This is really brutal. Especially with that overdrive. This is like the most insane thing. Alright, we're being suppressed now. Starting to stealth. Let's go for the Fen... Uh, oh, that's a Cerberus. It's not a... Oh, nice job, man. Nice job. He did that so well. Uh, he uh, he face shifted perfectly and then he instantly locked me down. Okay, 10 seconds. Wait, I'm taking damage somehow. Ah, yeah, because I was betting, getting leeched. That's right. So I'm going to take down that leech. But actually, I want to get the Arthur. I want to get the Arthur because I can literally bypass the Arthur shield. Like this. Look at that. Uh-oh. Yep. Okay, we had a full Titan behind us who bypasses the resistance, so... Now he's no longer leeching me, but he is suppressed. He loses his lock-on. And my overdrive is now activated. Good. Scorpion with a legendary pilot and the flamethrowers. Oh, hello. Let's corner shoot him. 
And then jump on him with a stealth. Legendary pilot. Going inside the shield and he dies like instantly here. And then again I can just corner shoot from here with two out of three weapons. Without exposing myself. He can't hit me. Um, Alright, we have an enemy right there. I don't know what he's doing. He might be lagging right now. Insane how much firepower these uh, uh, things require. These nightingales. They take so much beating before they go down. Okay, let's go behind the titan. And uh, just come in from behind. I'm going for this guy up there. He's suppressed and locked. He probably doesn't even know what exactly is happening. Look how much damage we're doing to him. Wow. He's gonna be suppressed and locked again as soon as I get him in range. Here we go. Again, suppression and lockdown with the drone. That again, accumulates the effects way too quick in my opinion. Fenrir is still following me. Uh oh. We have an Auchun coming. Alright, let's jump on this guy. I'm inside the shield, that's why he dies so incredibly fast now. Okay, let's reload. Look how strong that scorpion is, man. Jeez. Whoa. What is that? Something was super fast. Oh, it's a... Uh, Alright. Alright, face shifting. And now that his ability is gone, we should be able to bring him down really quickly. Yep. He goes down mad fast. Okay. Oh, man. Look how much havoc and destruction we cause with this scorpion here in the middle of the enemy base. I have my resistance still running. When he comes out of his ability, he's going to be instantly locked and suppressed. All right. Come on. End your thing there with the thing. Uh, your thing with the thing. Whoa, wait, who did I just kill? I killed somebody else I didn't even think, thought, uh, didn't even know I was shooting. Okay, he's shielding himself again. Okay, okay. Ooh, boy. I am suppressed now, but I need to reload anyways. Wow, what a match. Uh, Champions League games are tough. Now, very uh, since league points reset, you are strong players, so matchmaking will assign strong players on the enemy team too. Uh, that's something that I've noticed, yeah. The matchmaker is much better right now. But I also noticed it takes a little longer for the matches to find. I'm not sure if it's just me, but sometimes I have to really wait for like a, for, for two minutes to find a match when I'm not in the perfect uh, day moment right there. Um, when I'm not in the rush hour, basically. And that is uh, a bit worrisome that sometimes you have to wait this long. Okay. Uh, overdrive is running. I'm teleporting behind the guy. Alright. I am in a bit of problem here. Okay. Let's get him locked and suppressed. There we go. Dealing tons of damage. Oh, gosh. Yep, you have to retarget, and I'm gonna get you killed before you establish your target lock on. Nice. Getting locked, that Scorp, uh, that Falcon. Man, with the overdrive, the damage is so unreal. Let's jump on whoever this is down there. Ares. Another Titan. Uh oh. And another Titan is above us too. Suppressing him, locking him, teleporting back. And then helping out from here. Okay, this guy is suppressed, or he was suppressed at least for a couple of seconds. Maybe I get him before I die. And before he flies again. Come on. Come on. Yes. Man, we can do so much with these flamers. Isn't that insane? Let's cap the beak until the end. And then we jump stealth j stealth jump on him. There we go. Locked and suppressed. <sighs> Hiding behind him. Okay. Teleporting back. I lost uh, one light weapon. 
But I can live with losing one light weapon. Because you know what happens once this guy lands. He's gonna be to total toast. There it is. He's, he's already getting nice and toasty. Toasty! <laughs> oh man, that meme. Alright, from behind I block him so and lock him. Here we have another uh, two Ao Chuns right in front of us. Nice, dude. How much damage have we done in this match with these flamethrowers? I really like them again, man. Um, you remember probably that before the flamethrowers got this unaccidental nerf with the changing of the effect pattern, um, those were really my favorite weapons. Because they did a ton of damage and they did not require... Uh, you to go through the resistance you had you were able to corner shoot players you had so much good thing going all right so this was the scorpion flamethrower version right now i think one of the best setups you can run on the scorpion the alternative is squawker and atomizer but i'm not even sure if that not might even be better here especially for short range brawling after you jump on somebody um this is just an insane combo very powerful and fun to play with seriously so hopefully you guys had some fun watching this compilation of our recent uh, best moments with the scorpion um sorry for those who may have already seen some of this but I, but not everybody sees the live streams and um, and I think it's such a best off moments is really awesome uh, so hopefully you guys still had some fun thanks for watching until next time money signing off bye bye